Hallelujah, it's morning. To be better than my today. I want the way that I relate with God, the way that I communicate, interact with Love, him. 99.5 FM, taking you closer to heaven. Bishop Dr. Victor Sell, Family Chapel International. Taking you closer to heaven. Taking you closer to heaven. Speak thy servant here. Waiting for thy gracious word. Make me blessed 
Indeed. Taking you closer to heaven. Daily focus on Love 99.5 FM. Prepare your mind and soul for today's message. Daily focus on Love 99.5 FM. Start your day right with a word from God. With holy name. My name is Bishop Dr. Victor Sell, Family Chapel International. It's a pleasure to spend 30 minutes with you every Wednesday morning, 5.20 to 5.50 a.m. On his word, his presence, and his power. On Love 99.5 FM. You know what? Tune in every Wednesday morning. And you'll have a word in season for the rest of your day. It's going to be special every Wednesday. And life transforming. God bless you. Father, we thank you for another Wednesday morning dawn that you bless us oh great father as we talk about you 
for the rest of the week, the rest of the day, the rest of the morning, afternoon and evening, your hand will be upon us in a unique way. In Jesus' name. It is important for us to learn how to praise God. For he deserves our praise. Whether by lifting up your hands. Whether through your mouth. Jesus is Lord, his majesty. Whether through a dance. Because I sense somebody is going to have a testimony. And you dance, sing and praise God. I remember a couple of years ago. I went to the American Embassy. The first time I got a visa to America. In fact, the first time I visited the Embassy. Put the documents there. Asked me a few questions. In five minutes, I was out of the place. And I was wondering... The only thing they said is, go and come back tomorrow. And they gave me this sheet of paper stating that I should pick up my visa. But there were about 10 people who had gone ahead of us and me. They came back with a different face. Passports returned. No visa. Then there was this lady. That was also her first time. And it was a strange thing. All of us who were in the line after me. Most of us were Christians. I was going to do a program in the United States of America. And this lady had never even traveled anywhere in the world. So normally it's very difficult to go into America, Europe, Britain, Australia, without any travel experience for them to give you a visa. And the funny thing is that all of us were given five years, five years, five years to start with. Wow! So when she picked it up and she came outside, she said, I too, I too, I got it, I got it. And she got onto the streets. And she was dancing. It is good to praise the Lord. The more we praise God, the more he does great things for us. So I challenge you, let this day be a life of, a day of praise unto God. Thank him. Count your blessings and name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Let's continue with our teachings on the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Number 11. The Spirit bears witness in us that we are children of God. You know, when you are a sinner, Nobody has to tell you you're not a child of God. You won't feel it. You keep saying things like, I believe in God. But in actual fact, you believe in God, but you still go to hell. Because inside you, you know you're not born again. And you're not a child of God. But the good part is this. The moment you give your life to Jesus, Romans chapter 8, verse 14 to 17. Let's go to Romans. Chapter 8, verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit, that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, then we may be also glorified together. This, these few verses of scripture are so loaded and laden with spiritual truth. As many as are led by the Spirit of God. If you don't give your life to Jesus, you can't be led by God, by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God, number one. Number two, the spirit that we have received doesn't bring us into bondage. So, again to fear. When you walk in fear, then something must be wrong somewhere. I'm not saying sometimes you might not be apprehensive. But fear is not our portion. Either you have a mentality of fear, psychological fear, fear of the unknown. It's normal. 
Christ in us, we must understand the hope of glory. And because he is with us, we shall not fear. For the arrow that flieth at noonday, for the plague that stalks at night. Because Jesus lives on our inside. So we are not in bondage. That tomorrow we die. Tomorrow there's an accident. There's this, there's that. Our faith in God shows us that we are very okay. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. So God adopts us and makes us his children. Whereby we cry, God you are our father, our father. The spirit is a birth witness with our spirit. And that is the part I want us to grasp. He bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. When the Holy Ghost comes to live in us, without a shadow of doubt, you know you are a child of the living God. So when they are dealing with a believer, he says, I am a child of God. He recreated my spirit. He made me whole. And he adopted me as his son. Hallelujah. If then you are a child, then it says you are an heir. So what about promises and joint heirs with Christ? An heir is somebody who has an inheritance. And our inheritance is clearly stated in the word of God. That is the will of our father, the word of God. Every blessing in the Bible belongs to us. And it says at the end of it all, because we suffer with him, we will be glorified together. In my father's house there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would have told you. So we are joint heirs of his promises. Are you with me? So clearly, the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Number 12. The spirit produces in us fruit or evidence of his work and presence. There's one thing about God come into an individual's life. When God comes into an individual's life, one of the main things you begin to realize is that the person's life becomes fruitful. All of a sudden, somebody with you thought was a nobody, things begin to fall into place. The lines are falling to us in pleasant places. We have a godly heritage, scripture says. From henceforth, know you no man the way you used to know them, but know them by the Spirit. It's important. The way you see somebody today, when they give their lives to Jesus and serve Him honorably, you will not see Him the same way within a few years. His life changes. I've seen people who came to church struggling within a year, two years, three years. They are smiling to church. They can buy their own food. They don't plead for money. They buy people, other people food. Very soon, they get married. They build homes and houses. They have a good job. They buy cars. They invest in business. And when they look back on their life for five years, it's different. I, I was speaking to a doctor a few minutes ago before we started these recordings. So I just was intrigued. I wanted to know why he came to Family Chapel. And he said when he was on, on campus, a friend invited him to pay a visit to Family Chapel. And he used to go to, I think, Presbyterian Church with his mom. So now that he's a full doctor, he ends up here in family chapel. So I said to him, have you regretted? I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the Presbyterian church. It's a good church. And then he makes this revelation. He says, I've been so blessed. Doesn't matter what church you are in. Once it's a Bible-believing church, you cannot go to the Presby Anglican, Methodist, Pentecost, Assemblies of God, Charismatic Churches, Pentecostal churches, evangelical churches and remain the same if you truly give your life to Christ and serve God appropriately. You will bear fruit. So 
let me read that scripture that talks about the fruit of the spirit and this one is talking about the way you behave and your attitude to things in life so Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love first you walked in hatred and if you go upwards it talks about the works of the flesh from verse 19 to 21 and this is the way you were before you came to the Lord and the Holy Spirit came to live in you now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these <coughs> adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft hatred variance emulations wrath strife seditions heresies <laughs> all of a sudden you don't hate anymore all of a sudden you are forgiven all of a sudden you are patient and long suffering and so things like envyings murders drunkenness revelings and such like of which i tell you before as i have also told you in the time past paul is speaking that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god but then the fruit of the spirit when you get born again i'll explain it to you the fruit of the spirit is love it's like an orange papa mango anything that is roundish the totality is the love and when you cut it into nine parts you have love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with their affections and lusts wow hey. when the Holy Spirit comes into your life these things happen you've nailed the flesh to the cross and then we were blind now we see you no longer have a bad attitude to life you no longer become a rapist you no longer dis- become a murderer you have faith towards god you are gentle long suffering you love everybody agape love of god joy peace meekness humility temperance patience in all things against such there is no law have you ever asked yourself how come the things you used to do you don't do them anymore and that your life is very different from what it was a year ago after you went through new converts you were taught in the bible you began to read about the bible you read the bible yourself it gradually had an influence upon your life and as that influence went on there were certain things that song says the things i used to do i do them no more the things i used to do i do them no more the things i used to do i do them no more it was a great day since i was born so you bear the fruit of the spirit as evidence of the work and presence of the spirit number 13 and i like this one the spirit distributes spiritual gifts and manifestations the outshining of his presence to and through the body 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4 we just talked about the fruit of the spirit now we are talking about the gifts or the giftings of the spirit now from verse 4 it states clearly that the holy spirit is one spirit now let's let's, let's just read just just listen carefully when you go to a fetish you have different shrines sometimes that do different things and even sometimes in one shrine you bring blood of a sheep some you bring a chicken <laughs> some malams you have to write something on a black ink on a thing wash it and then use it for your face it was a very funny incident when we were in school we used to organize state transport when we 
vacated and we used to keep the money right under our mattress because in the last days are dangerous as we used to say so if you're not careful somebody will steal the money and somebody stole our money i was with a friend alfred anochi we used to call him kangas we had organized these bus services from accra to take people from Addisado College Cape Coast to and then we had lost the money. How are we going to pay people's money? So boys are adventurous. We went to this Malam at Pedu in Cape Coast. We heard about him and we went there. We had to pay for a white chicken. He did some things and cut the neck and the thing went and turned upside down. Safa Wafa as in Wafa Why you baby? Ah, you become no scan, Baba. The Malam was doing something, wrote some Arabic things on a scroll, washed it, put in a container, said we should sprinkle it in the dormitory, uh, within the lower floor dormitory in Adzadal, Hamlet House. And, and, and that's where the seniors were. So from form four and form five we were in the lower. Six form us had special rooms, and then from one to three were in the upper dorm. So we got there and we began to talk. Yes, today people would die. <laughs> oh my, what a life. School is something. Well, I've never regretted going to Adsaddle College. And then we sprinkled this black inky stuff all over the place. Whether we believed it or not, we just went and did it, you know. And strangely enough, by the next morning, the person had returned the money, but less by five CDs. And in those days, five CDs was somebody's pocket money for the whole term. So it ate into our profit. But the person returned it. I'm only trying to say, you go to different people and they'll do different things with the spirits that they are controlled by. But you see, the scripture tells us here, there are diversities of gifts by the same spirit. That's why I gave you that example. In God, one spirit, different gifts. With the devil, different spirits doing different things. We have one spirit, many gifts. The devil has different spirits. Lion spirit, spirit of anger, murdering spirit, spirit of adultery, spirit of fornication, and all kinds of demonic spirits. Hundreds and thousands of them. Then you also have spirit of greed, of lust, murdering spirits, etc. Warmongering spirits, occultic powers and spirits. But when you come to Jesus, one Holy Spirit, many gifts all come from him. And he says these are the diversities of gifts, but the same Holy Spirit. Years ago I told myself, Nine fruit of the Spirit. Nine gifts of the Spirit. Father, I want every one of them. I hear people say things like, Oh, I operate in the gifts of healing, the gift of prophecy, or in the word of knowledge. I believe one Holy Spirit, He lives in me. So, I can manifest any of the giftings at any time. You can too. Diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. Number five, verse five, that is, 1 Corinthians 12.5 Diversity, there are differences of administration again, but the same Lord. Then the third one, verse 6, diversities of operations, but is the same God which worketh all in all. Different gifts, one spirit. Differences in administration, the way we do things as people as a church, same Lord. Differences of operation, same God who works in everything. So the Trinity is working but does all those great and mighty things. But, verse 7, the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So, it's not only for a pastor, the gifts of the Spirit. It's everybody can operate in the gifts of the Spirit. So, he gives us gifts just as he's given us fruit. And in the name of Jesus, may the gifts of the Spirit come alive in us in Jesus' name. Four, let me make a list of some of them. For one is given, for to the one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. 
Wisdom is the ability to tell your tomorrow or future. To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit that is dealing with the now and with the past. Because of time, I'll just quickly go through now or the past. Verse 9. To another, faith by the same spirit. This is not just faith that comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is the faith of God that causes you to move mountains and do things that shock people like raising a dead person healing sicknesses and afflictions that seem incurable to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit remember it says gifts of healing so people operate healing in different ways people can speak a word and there is healing people can lay hands on the sick there is healing even as you hear me you can be healed that is, a, that is an operation of the gifts of healing. That is the only one which is made plural. The gifts of healing. And then you have the working of miracles. Now here it's strange. It doesn't say gifts of miracles. Working. Because it takes you working with Jesus and Jesus working with you and uh, like you said, Jesus working with the disciples. To perform miracle signs and wonders at the end of the book of mark and you need to understand that sometimes the one who is going to receive the miracle needs to extend their faith silver and gold have i none such as i have give i thee in the name of jesus christ rise up and walk and as he rose he received strength in his feet he was walking and leaping and praising god the faith of Peter and his partner and the faith of that man who looked upon them. The Bible says as Paul preached he looked and that young person had faith to be healed. So the miracle was worked. So there's a working of miracles. And then there's descending of spirits. The ability to know whether this is coming from the spirit of God our human spirit, demonic spirits or some kind of counterfeit spirit. It's important to be able to discern. And then diverse gifts of tongues. The Bible describes tongues of men and of angels. And that's a prayer language. And to another, the interpretation of tongues. And that becomes a prophecy. When you speak in tongues and somebody interprets into a known language, it becomes a prophetic word. But all these worketh that one and the same, same self-spirit dividing to every man severely as he will. So you see, all these, the same spirit, gives to everybody as he wills. God bless you today. Bear the fruit of the spirit, allow the Holy Ghost in your life. And may the manifestation of the giftings of the spirit come alive in us. God bless you. It has been a pleasure being with you. Good morning. Hello guys. You just listened to his word, his power, his presence with Bishop Dr. Victor Say. I personally invite you to Family Chapel International, Susansu, off Tech Road. Our first service starts from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Our Bible study starts from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Our second service starts from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Our freedom service, which is our joint service, starts from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. God bless you. See you this Sunday. And see what I actually say. Property fridge here. A cool, a cool, papa, papa, papa. Me fear had here. Property near Mount Quanam Yusu. A son said, Mammy fear how you fen and my brabon and say, I'm My property. Ice cream. So, open fridges, freezers, TVs, air conditioners, washing machines, gas cookers, microwaves, blenders, electric irons, rice cookers. And in here, Kahu Biara, top up a record, property dear, and no major kiki. <laughs> property electronics, a your papa, and key in Namukania, your fridges, no, what are the shima, no cooling, a sunset, your compressors, no, and what dimpa, open your biato, our gunner for Nenina, who pay beer to Atom, Tony Sack Electronics, SD Karam Dynamo, and what a doom Kumasi, and my method is a son. Property, top papa precum. Hi, my name is. Well, so that was 
So that was um, Reverend Dr. Victor Say of the Family Chapel International who came up our way with a word. Thy presence and, of course, uh, his power today here on Love 99.5. And um, he's always on Love 99.5 every Wednesday morning. Make a date with him same time next Wednesday for another you know, powerful message. But for now, it's time for us to bring it to you Love in the Morning right here on Love 99.5 FM. It feels good. Love 99.5 FM. 99.5 FM. Love in the morning. It feels good. Love, love 99.5 FM. Hallelujah, it's morning. Good 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 morning.